we, we're taking it down because we used all our energy in the last one. Uh, I want to give some money to Child's Play. You want to help me, Dev? I'll do my very best. Let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Hundred Air. I think, I think I'm in the wrong place. I thought, I thought this was between two ferns. <laughs> First question. Uh, welcome everyone to Who Wants to Be a Hundred Air. I promised my wife I would do this voice for the entire hour. No one's watching anyway, it's four in the morning. I'm Coriana Tato. And that's her right now. <laughs> Stop the clock. the clock. I'm having flashbacks. Uh, we're here flashbacks. today with Dev. Dev, tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Dev, and I cannot match this energy right now. Fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful to have you here with us. Uh, Happy to be here. Are you ready to play Who Wants to Be a Hundred Air? I'm ready to play Who Wants to Be a Hundred Air. Fantastic. Let's go over the rules. You've got 15 questions to get to $100 direct to child's play. Nice. At the fifth question or the tenth question, your donation will be no less than $1 or five dollars. Along the way, if you need it, you've got three lifelines to help you. Keep it together, Dev. I need you to hold it together. Yeah. You could 50-50, which would take away two wrong answers, leaving one wrong answer and the correct answer. It's gonna get worse from here, guys, I'm sorry. You could ask the audience. That's them. They'll tell you something. Or, you can phone a friend. You got a phone? I do have a phone. You got some friends? It's 4 a.m. <laughs> well, how much do they love you? Uh, some, well, some, of, some of the ones in the UK might love me enough. I to guess, pick up we'll, at nine in I the guess we'll figure it out. We'll figure oh, it out. CBS. All right, I'll call the security guy. <laughs> I've got his number. <laughs> so you know the rules, you know the lifelines. Yeah. Are you ready to play? Ready. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Hundred Air? This first question is for, wait, hold on, a penny. <laughs> Here's the question. Which of these is not a primary color in the traditional RGB color model? Is it red, yellow, green, or blue? B, yellow, final. He said it's his final answer. And he's right for a, a hot penny. Question number two. Am I? Would you like to walk away? Show me the question. I know the rules. Very good. He's a <laughs> smart <laughs> cookie this one. Hey! Thank you so much. $7,240.69. Ah, damn. You know what that number means? What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Me and Joy, we don't do that stuff. No numbers. No numbers. Only letters. We do the Z. You ever heard of the Z? Z, if we call it. And we don't. We don't go to Canada either. It's no good. Not, not missing much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Question two. Known there as a hala kahiki. <laughs> Which of these fruits is typically associated with Hawaii? <laughs> apple, pineapple, cherry, or orange? <laughs> the accent's going all over the place. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm hoping it's B pineapple. Would you like to make that your final answer? I would. He's locked it in. And he's absolutely right. He's got five cents. You've got a shiny Indian nickel in your pocket. And you're gonna go for more. I'm gonna go for more. Here's the next question. Which of these animals does not lay eggs? A duck, a frog, a cow, or salmon? I've learned a lot about mammals today, and I'm pretty sure a cow is one. Uh, they don't lay eggs. Cow, final. You ever been to a cow farm before? Yeah. They lay something. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's not eggs, though. It smells. They call them pies. Yeah. You don't want to eat them. Uh. The poop. Ew. <laughs> I always wondered. Well, now you know. <laughs> Gelman! No more cow pies. Right. 
You're absolutely right. This bit is primarily for my wife and Christian Carey, and those are the only two people who are going to appreciate it. I think everyone's appreciating it just fine. You're going for 25 cents. Back mm. in my day, that got you a ride on the subway, a movie, and a steak dinner. Here's the question. Which planet in our solar system is known as the red planet? Venus, Mars, Jupiter, or Uranus? Uh, the only planet that's very red is Mars. Is, is that your final, final answer? Final answer. He's locked it in. You thought I was gonna say Uranus, but I'm classier than that. I'm the Reach. You're right! You got yourself 25 cents, and now, this is the big one, since for a dollar. One whole dollar. In my day, you could buy a car with that. <laughs> Here's the question. In the nursery ride, who sat on a wall before having a great fall? A, Jack and Jill. B, Humpity Dumpity. C, Little Bopey. Or D, Mama Goosey. What do you think, Dev? I think, uh... Were you ever a kid before? Uh, I, I don't remember. Fair enough. Looks like use a lifeline to find out the answer to that question. You could 50 50 But not for this one. Or not. Yeah. For this one, I know it's Humpity Dumpity. Is that your final answer? <laughs> That's my final answer. He says it's Humpity Dumpity. And he's absolutely right. You've got yourself a dollar. You may be tempted by the applause to walk away but there's still 10 more questions you could bank up to $100. Let's see your $1.50 question. You know, back in my day, the lights used to turn down. Mm -hmm. Can't do that anymore. We don't know how. <laughs> Some of this knowledge is just lost to time, like the Phoenicians. Which of these is not one of the branches, the three branches of the United States government? A, executive, B, legislative, C, judicial, or D, administrative. <laughs> Turn into Steve Harvey. Uh, I may be Canadian, but I, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm pretty sure the three branches are executive, legislative, and judicial. Uh, so administrative is my final answer. He's locked it in. And you're absolutely right. Yeah. You've got all your lifelines. You're up to $2.50. Let's see that question. The music's scarier without the lights. It's true. What is the capital city of Australia? Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, or Canberra? He used to play for the Yankees. <laughs> what are you thinking? I've got it narrowed down to... The, full. the right answer. Okay. <laughs> and the one that I often say is the right answer, but isn't. I think the capital of Australia is uh, balls. That's uh, not one of the choices. Ah, <laughs> uh, balls, Australia. You've got lifelines if you need them. I need them. What would you like? I'd like to ask the audience, please. All right, 50-50, ask the audience. Audience! Oh, we could do a Twitch oh, poll. Wow. All right, Twitch. I'm not sure what's going on over here. A man is laying down and pointing a camera at me. Are you a paparazzi? I'll run you over by Rolls Royce. Galman! Get the paparazzi out of here! I don't know what I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing some just answer in chat. Technological hokum. All right, audience on your keypads. I suppose they have keypads. It's like this. Surely. It's got all the numbers. Type in A, B, C, or D. Now. Big bucks, no wabbies. I think that was the last one. Yeah, what does poker say? 
Very good. Yes, yeah, smart ass. That sound means that you, you, you cocked it. Yeah. Well, so uh, they say it's D. It's definitive. It's, I what I, it's what I thought before they came up, but then I saw Melbourne and it spooked me. Uh, D, Canberra, final. That's very xenophobic of you. <laughs> there are five people. They make great pie. Cow pie? It's not cow pie. Like we said before, <laughs> that's poop. Final answer? Final answer. You went with the audience. Yeah. It's a bunch of people, a bunch of perverts on the internet mm. using their Google to tell you the answer. Probably with one hand because they're perverts. <laughs> but they're right and you're right. Thank you got you. yourself two dollars and fifty you. cents. Ready for the three dollar question? Ready. Let's play. What does a numismatist collect? Stamps, fossils, teddy bears. Coins. You like to collect stuff? Not really, no. I like to. What are you, boring? I like to just cut down on all the. I like to, oh, you're a minimalist. I like to give things away to people who collect coins who are <laughs> called numismatists. You just give people who collect coins random shit in your house? Yeah, it's not usually a coin. Wild. Yeah. You're a menace. Yeah. You want to lock in coins? They buy a coin on eBay and I send them a fossil. <laughs> Your ratings in the toilet. <laughs> a numismatist collects coins. Final. Answer. I can't see A and C, but I'm pretty, yeah, coins. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. This is going on my reel. I think this is going fantastic. Oh yeah. You're absolutely right. You've got yourself three dollars. That's probably the hottest three dollars you've ever earned. Sitting up straight. Uh. Thank you. You go for four dollars. Ready? Yep. Let's play. What does the C in Einstein's famous equation E equals MC square stand for? Is it constant, charge, the speed of light, or centrifugal force? That's how I got knocked out on the Cody Island cyclone. <laughs> They tell you to hold on, they don't tell you how hard. I lost joy into the ocean. I miss it dearly every single day. After a week, they called off the search boats. I'm really happy you've started talking about it again. Thank you. What do you say? Well, only one of those answers doesn't start with C, so it can't be that. Then again, maybe the writers weren't clever enough to make that one up. It is also answer C. Oh. Hmm. C, speed of light, fine. Oh, Jesus. I accidentally hit D, but it was fine. We're good. Uh, you said that. And the correct answer is... You're absolutely right again! You're on a tear, Dev. An absolute royal rumble. For the children. For the children. Donation received. That, that would be a hate crime. <laughs> uh, I hit this button. If you get this right, you leave with no less than $5 for child's play. That will give them one Pokemon card. <laughs> Ready to play. Not even a good one. Uh, yeah. Yes. One, one DLC. It's a... Sh a one hat for their me. What's, what's the Pokemon that's a shell? Shelder. Shelder. <laughs> kind of looks like a shell. Here's Not your question. Else, yeah. <laughs> what is the name of the largest moon of the planet Jupiter? You ever been to Jupiter? Uh, not for a long time. It's beautiful. Is the answer A, Europa, B, Ganymede, C, Callisto, D, I love Dally McBeal. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, it's 4.30 in the morning. 
This is the ace stuff. Uh, I don't want to lose three dollars. Four dollars. Well, tech, I don't care. Yeah. You know, you know. 50-50 uh, probably won't help enough, so I think I have to phone a friend. Okay. Let's phone a friend. How does this work? Uh, pick someone. Pick someone. Who wants it? Who wants it? Dave Mattingly. Is Dave Mattingly know. still here? Yeah, he is. Hold on, let's get Dave Mattingly on the phone. I got no answer from Dave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him again. No answer again. I'll try one last time. Why don't you just come here? Let's let's get this done. <laughs> Sorry, JB. I love you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> FaceTime is so realistic now. <laughs> and yet we can't turn down lights? Nope. 30 seconds. Good luck. It's Ganymede. What's, ga what's Ganymede? How did, yes. you, how did you do that? <laughs> the reason I know is because I, I remember the largest one is also the only one that's ever na that's named for a uh, male. The other ones are named for females. Yeah, it's because it has a long name, I know. And that's it's a big, big, big moon. Yeah. Uh, that's what I thought. Well, then why did they call it supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? That's all around Saturn. Ah, oh, he's a smart one. <laughs> Ganymede? Ganymede. For sure? How, 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 how sure are you? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Get out of here! For the children. For the children. Ganymede. Final answer. Final answer. This place might erupt, either in celebration or disgust. Won't be my fault. It's not! You've got yourself five dollars! Thank you, Dave, wherever you are. <laughs> and now we play for big money. This is for ten dollars. You've got one lifeline. Okay. Here you go. Okay. Which gland in the body creates cortisol? Uh, the thyroid, the adrenal gland, the tear gland, or your pancreas? You got a pancreas? Uh, I think so. Never checked. That's fantastic. Joy has two. <laughs> She's, why does she have two? She found one at a yard sale in Poughkeepsie. She keeps it where? In a jaw. It's a better place than in her. Yeah, her there's no in place her. in there. Yeah. Packed full. Like, Jesus. So much. So much blood and guts inside, there's nowhere else to put anything spare. Gotta keep my keys in my body. Cortisol. You've got a 50-50. Cortisol. I should know this. You do have, possibly, all four of those things. Oh, I can talk this out because I'm not influencing anyone. I'm... Cortisone is like cortisol, which has to do with a stress response. And you would imagine that would have to do with the adrenal gland, where adrenaline is also uh, released. Adrenaline does have another name, and it's not cortisone. Have I lost you? I missed a call from a Dave Battigley. Oh. <laughs> is your friend too, huh? It was weird. Um, a 50-50. All right, computer, take away two of these wrong answers, leaving one wrong answer and the correct answer. You're left with two glands. I'll, I'll go with my instinct then. Um, the adrenal gland, that's my final answer. At this point, I've forgotten all the correct answers. Uh-oh, we're in this together. We're in this together. Let's see. Oh. We should look down so it looks like we're looking at it on the screen. Oh. Let's see what we got going on over here. Oh. There's naked ladies taped to the back of these questions. Oh. You're absolutely right! Ten dollars to child's play for you, my friend. And now we're going to fifteen. <clears throat> In 
which city was Zsa Zsa Gabor born. <laughs> she likes a strong Manhattan, I know that much. Vienna, Prague, Bratislava, Budapest. Feisty dame, that one. Funny as a whip. I could not tell you. Um, I lose five dollars if uh, you do the math. Yeah, all right. Play, I'm, I'm playing for fifteen, got ten, lose five if I'm wrong. Yes. I'll make up the five if I miss this. But let's go for it. Um, I'm gonna say good because I I forgot to write down what button makes you walk away. Okay. <laughs> so then I have no choice. Um, I'm gonna say she was born in Bratislava. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Pure guess. Yep. You don't know anything about the wonderful life and times of Zsa Zsa Gabor? She married a few people. Very wealthy. No idea where she was born. Born in Slovakia. <laughs> well, let's see if you're right. This is the correct answer. Bratislava. Oh no, it's Budapest! Hungarian. Hungarian. Just like me, I think. I don't know, I didn't read my own Wikipedia. I'm from everywhere. Fair enough. Dev, congratulations, however, you do leave us with $5 to child play. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's get our next contestants out real quick for game number two of Who Wants to Be a Hundred Air? And take, take your damn name! Give him his name. No, I don't think we get a name. Why? Ah, know. there we are. Hello, I'm back. You don't get a name. No. Sh <laughs> but you can sit down if you want. There's nothing back there for you. Okay. We only have 20 okay, minutes. Have All right, cool. Uh, someone, someone hook up a lav to yourself. There you go. Good enough. Sure, yeah. Okay. What are your names? My name is Chris. And what's your name? Christina. So together you're Christina. Hey. All right. Oh, what an that. original couple name. All right. <laughs> we're, running, we're running short on time. And also I have to pee and maybe sleep. Maybe the same time. Awkward. When you're older, Double it just comes out. <laughs> let's play. Uh, well, oh, let's do this. You know about the rules. You know your uh, safe havens are at $1 and $5. You've got your three lifelines, 50-50. Ask the audience, photo friend. Ready to play? Let's hey. play. Let's play. Who wants to be a hundred air? <laughs> Question number one is for one petty. Crossword clues are usually divided into a cross and what? Words. Up, down, over, along. <laughs> I read it wrong, but that's fine. <laughs> Correct. You've got yourself one penny to child's play. Mm. Financial stability. Mm. You, would you like to walk away? Let's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's not do that. Two cents. Uh, well, no, it's we can five do cents. This. We can it's do for this. a nickel. Yes. What are you said to do to the roof when you make a lot of noise? <laughs> Paint it, raise it, thatch it, or retile it? <laughs> <laughs> you have a thatch a roof? It's hell on my back. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. Joy had to pick up the slack. I'm going to have to go with B and raise the roof. She was covered in tar. <laughs> Correct! <laughs> You've got yourself a nickel. Yeah. Here's your next question for a dime. Hey. In which of these sports is a checkered flag normally used? Ooh. Tennis, soccer, swimming, auto racing. Say auto racing. You gotta say. I feel like it'd be weird in, in soccer. That'd be that'd be a very weird thing to do in soccer. It'd be weird in swimming too. You can't in usually wave a flag too. in a any pool. Any of those other ones, it would be weird. It could Probably. get stuck in your face and you drown. Is the correct answer auto racing? Absolutely right. I'm glad you didn't put checkers in there. I'd be confused if uh, checkers was in there. Or rallies, or rallies. depending on where of the Mississippi yeah. you are. I think. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this one's for 25 cents. 
Which of these is used to turn the rudder of a boat? The spiller, the miller, the tiller, or the driller? These are all my nicknames you in my this. old boxing days. <laughs> You've got to know this. Yes. They used to call me Regis the Spiller, Miller, Tiller, Driller, <laughs> Philbin. <laughs> I was a bad boxer, that's why I went into the TV. C, the pillar. Final answer. Final answer. You're absolutely right again. You've got yourself 25 cents. Yep. Cha-ching. And now, for the big one dollar. Which of these Kennedys is not a member of the American political dynasty? Oh. John, Nigel, Robert, or Edward? Political dynasty. You've got your lifelines if you need them. John is definitely. Yeah, who's Nigel? I don't know who Edward and Robert are either, though. Do you know? It's Nigel. Is it Nigel? It's okay, Nigel. all right, I trust you. I, don't, I trust you. You're absolutely right. Ooh. You've got yourself a dollar. A very close shave right there for a dollar. How's everyone doing in the crowd tonight? Yeah, sleep. <laughs> Wake up, Gelman. A dollar fifty is the next question. You ready to play? Yes. Yeah. Good. Here we go. A person who makes a big fuss is said to raise which biblical character? Adam, Eve, Cain, Abel. You read the Bible much? Try not to. Once or twice. You know, there's a part of the Bible where they talk about big old donkey dicks. I missed that part. Why I read. Tell me about that at school. I put it in my vows. Joy loved it. Huh. It's in Ezekiel. Check it out sometime, kids. All right, I don't know this one. You've I got really, your lifelines if you yeah, need it. Yeah, really. I missed this part of my uh, living classes. What's that? <laughs> I don't think any. I don't think the phrase is in the Bible. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know this right. one either. This is, that one's like, I don't know. That's a, that's a weird one. That was the last game. I don't, yeah, which last one do you want to use? Uh, hmm, which one will be the best? I don't know, that's a tough choice. I'll ask the audience. Ask the audience? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. All right, let's do that. Ask the audience indeed. Audience, if you keep ads, vote A, B, C, or D now. Yeah, is that what you thought? I, yeah. <laughs> also, I'm more just raising the dead to you here. I've hit the button. 100% All right. Oh, then, all right. 100%. Final really? answer? Yeah, thanks, audience. Let's go with you. Well, we don't know if they're right yet. They could be a bunch maybe of dickheads. Just, maybe they just like chicken. <laughs> they they might like hate chicken. kids. They just really like chicken. We do like chicken. <laughs> and that's the correct answer. Right. I have never heard that. Well, now you have. Awesome. Going for $2.50. Here we go. What is the state capital of Alaska? Anchorage, Fairbanks, Juneau, Nome. Uh, yes, I think so. I think it's Juneau. Final answer. Juneau? Let's do it. Yep. No Hit muss, it. no fuss, no coconuts, because that's Hawaii. You're absolutely right. $2.50 going for three. Here we go. It's like when they put me on a timer and I absolutely bricked it. I can go fast now. In the original genus edition of Trivial Pursuit, what color wedge represented the history category? Blue, pink, yellow, green. We've got friends here. Many friends here. All right. Would you like to phone a friend? I would like to phone a friend. Who would you like to call? I would like to call my friend Christian, actually. Christian. Oh, yes. <laughs> let's, let's get Christian on the line. Call. Call Christian Carrier. 
Hello. Regis Philbin from Billionaire here. Hey, Regis, how's it going? I've got uh, pains in my ass because the stool is hard on my sciatica. Oh, man, you and me both. I hear you. I need yeah. your help with a trivia question. All right. We're getting a lot of feedback here. All right, I'll do this. I'll do a little bit. That works for me. Uh, 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 Christina, you'll have uh, Sabothias. Uh, It, di it didn't work. <laughs> You'll have 30 seconds to read the clue and the four possible choices. And Christian will give you his answer. Time starts now. In the original Dana's edition of Trivial Pursuit, which color wedge represented the history category? Is it blue, pink, yellow, or green? Uh, let me see. Those are all colors. Uh, pink. So green was nature, blue was geography, pink was entertainment, and yellow was history. All right, yellow. There you go. Knock him dead, kid. All right, yellow. Yellow is your final answer. I love the power of just hanging up on someone. I've used you for 30 seconds and I'm done! <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it! Thanks to our friends at AT&T for providing, no, sorry, <laughs> Verizon. <laughs> you, you're going for $4. Let's play. The ginkgo is also known by which name? The maiden arm tree, the maiden eye tree, the maiden hair tree, the maiden back tree. I, I used to play maiden eye 64. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I love that. Me game. and Joy. Joy was always on job. She used, she used to, nope, she used to no screen idea. creep. I have no clue about that. Right. What a bitch. Zero clue. Mm -hmm. Zero. Is that a lifeline? Huh? Uh, yeah, 50-50. And then Terrible. We guess. Yeah, I guess that's our last one, right? That's our last one, yeah. All right. Would you like to use a lifeline? Yeah, I guess we're going to use our last lifeline. All right. 50-50. Computer, please take away two wrong answers, leaving one wrong answer and the correct answer. You've got hair and back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, hairy backs. Earn a special place in people's lives sometimes. Do you have a, do you have a hint here? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, maiden hair tree. Maiden hair. All right. Is that your final answer? Do you agree? Yeah. You like that? Yeah. You like the maiden hair? All right, let's yeah. go. See final answer. Let's do this. Come Sorry, on. Sorry, totally blanked out. You're yes. right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Four dollars in the bank, hey, you get this hey, one right. Hey. Yeah. We're giving another five dollars to Child's Play. Let's play! Right. In which sport might a tumble turn be performed? Oh, man. A, rugby. <laughs> B, skiing. C, gymnastics. Or D, swimming. Right. Well, oh, man. You know, you could always I feel walk like all away. those sports you could do this thing in. Probably no, only one of them. Oh, you could totally do a tumble turn in swimming. Come on, no. you could do that. Right, I would do it. I would try it in swimming. Let's go with, uh, I feel like rugby. Yeah, right? Rugby. That's what I feel like. Yeah. Let me go rugby? Oh, let's do rugby. You want to lock it in? Lock it in. Final answer? Hey, final answer. You bit. said you a little, a little risky there, You said you wanted to tumble turn in swimming. I did. I did want to tumble turn in swimming. <laughs> you should have stuck with that. One. That's Ooh, the right it. answer. What is that? Oh man. I'm so sorry. Oh, well. oh. But you don't leave here empty-handed. We're gonna give another dollar to Child's Play. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris and Stina. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't forget, you have a microphone on. You. Oh, oh yes. You're about to garrot yourself. <laughs> Do we have time for one more game? If we go super duper fast. Mark, get over here. We're busy. We need to play Millionaire. Mark Dixon from Wilmington, Mil Delaware. Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah. Fantastic. This is not your first time in the hot seat, correct? No. Show that picture of us together. This was back in 1999. Mark was a contestant on the original run of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with me, Regis Silbert. I look exactly the same as I do now. 
So do I. So, Mark, uh, how did you do on there? I won 32,000. That's amazing. Yeah, we don't have that kind of money here. Yeah. We've yeah, only got a max of 100. But you can map it out because uh, here are the rules. You know them. 15 <laughs> questions to get to $1 billion. Five and 10, those are your safe havens. You leave with no less than that. You've got your 50-50, your ask the audience, and your photo friend. You ready to play? I'm ready to play. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Hundred Air? The first question's for a petty. The piece of literature containing the political statements of Mao Zedong was nicknamed what? The Little Red Book, the Tiny Green Pamphlet, the Minuscule Yellow Tome, or the Bijou Blue Manual? Uh, the Little Red Book. Final answer. Yes. If that's the hundred dollar question, if that's the penny question, I fear for you. Yeah. <laughs> but let's keep going. For a, for a nickel, the ocean basin surrounding Antarctica has what directional name? The northern, the southern, the eastern or the western? Southern. Final? Southern. We'll pop it in and we'll hit the button and you're right again. For a nickel. Let's go for a dime. A person who fools others into thinking they are poor in a task they excel, like pool, is given what nickname? A haddock, an eel, a cop, or a shark? Shark. Final. Lock it in. He's right again. He's got 10 cents. Hey, Curtis, how bad is my accent according to the chat? You'll tell me after the next question. The first single off of Lady Gaga's 2020 album, Chromatica, was stupid what? Love, advantage, game, a set. I don't know, so I'll ask the audience. Let's ask the audience. I have an idea, but. Audience, please. Everyone at the same time, say the letter A. One, yeah. two, three. A! Figured this much, but I figured, figured it right away. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll get this to go a little more. Yeah. All right. What would you like to say? A, a love. No. Final? Yeah. It's stupid love. Me and Joy have a very stupid love sometimes. But it's all the worthwhile if I can get her found off the roof. There's a lot of lore going on here. Here's the next question. The San Francisco Bay Area Public Transportation System is referred to by what acronym? Homa, Bart, Lisa, or Mo? <laughs> I'm going to Oakland in two weeks and we're looking at the Bart schedule just last night. So. Oh, there we go. Bart. So, Bart Finally. is absolutely right and you've got yourself a dollar for child's play. Mark, you're doing very well. You're at a dollar, we're going for a dollar fifty. Are you ready? Sure. Let's play! It's good music. Which of these numbers is both a square number and a cube number? 64, 100, 196, 343. If you're playing at home, you have bingo. <laughs> Do you know what square numbers yes, are? I don't. Just a friendly refresher, so I can take a nap behind this thing. Now you see me, now you don't. Oh, shit. What do you think, Mark? I think. Okay, computer, please take away two wrong answers, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. It's completely random. I want you to know that. Oh, 64, yeah. Is that your final answer? Yeah, that's right. You're absolutely right. 
It's doing math at 4 a.m. <laughs> Absolutely, I understand. Yeah. That's why the computer does it for me. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going for $2.50. Let's play. In 2013, Prince William and Princess Kate welcomed their first child, a baby boy named what? Archie, George, Michael, Arthur. Do you know a lot about the royal family? I don't give a <laughs> Let me tell you, me too, that's why we yeah. fought in that war. Mm -hmm. I enlisted, you know. All right. Who can I call? You could call anyone here. Jess. Jess! You could just come up. I don't have your number. Hi, Jess. Jess. So I'm here, sitting here with Regis. Uh, to, ready? Yeah. Um, so in 2013, Prince William and Princess Kate welcomed their first child, a baby boy named what? Archie, George, Michael, or Arthur? Okay, you sure? I like the cashier. I mean, I don't like them, but I think her kids can't control. George? All right. I trust Jess. George, final answer. Let's see if you're right, because like you, don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> You've never seen Riverdale. Archie, nah. very fantastic. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. There you go. Go. Wait! George is correct! We put in a wrong thing, so we're gonna bring you back. <laughs> Let's see if I can fast forward this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Right. I'm loading up new questions. We're just gonna skip these. Uh, B. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We got two minutes. Come on, go faster. Eat some chow. I'm gonna do that after this. I think we're back. Okay. Let's play. Gelman, edit that out. Wasn't this the one that she gave the correct answer? Was that one, right? So we. Yeah, so, so, so now we're, go, going to, we're going to. We yeah, we go. Yeah, we go. Yeah, we go. Yeah, we go. Three thousand. So we'll do three. this one, yeah. Okay. Oh, pertussis. It's whooping call. Whooping call. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay. And we're back. Gelman, cut. Balls of wall. Lock. Let's play. In the Harry Potter stories, what area surrounds Hogwarts School? Wizard Wood, Shadow Shade, Creepy Caverns, or Forbidden Forest? I think that's the Forbidden Forest. Final answer. Final answer. You read a lot of that witchcraft hokum? Eh. You're right! <laughs> witchcraft hokum. Witchcraft hokum. Four dollars. Let's play. The frontier town of Dodge City was in which state? Arizona, South Dakota, Colorado, Kansas. My mother was born in Dodge City. Really? Yes, true story, Kansas. Amazing, Fido? Yeah. As a child, their neighbor was uh, Dennis Hopper. My, my uncle and Dennis Hopper were best friends as a Really? Yep. You've lived a fascinating life. <laughs> Weird shit, yeah. Every day I learn something new about Mark Dixon. Four dollars. <laughs> From Wilmington, Delaware, going for five. Let's play. Dame Judi Dench won her Best Supporting Actress Oscar for which film? Pride and Prejudice, Shakespeare in Love, Golden Eye, Casino Royale. 
I had a Game Shock code that let me play as Dame Judi Dench and Goldeneye. She was a slow broad, but she had a crack shot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's out of lifelines. Yeah. Goldeneye or Shakespeare. I'll give you a free 50-50 for your troubles. Give me the 50-50. Okay, computer, hit me with your best shot. The two I was gonna, yeah, down kick. Always. Yeah. It uh, always does that. Let's go Shakespeare in Love, final answer. You're right! You're at five dollars! At which ceremony is the Cecil B. DeMille Award presented? The Oscars, the Emmys, the Golden Globes, or the BAFTAs? Anyway, Mark, you leave here with a wonderful amount of money for Child's Play, and it's five dollars. Thank you very much. This has been Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm about to go take a dump. <laughs> Quizmania is next. All right, we've got microphones of the 24-hour game show marathon.